Welcome to another episode of OS vs Timer Advanced. In this episode, Diane is going to be checking out the software side of the Texas Instruments TI-994A, released in 1981. After looking at various apps and games, she'll attempt to make the computer speak using the extended basic cartridge. This was suggested by our Patreon supporter, Jakey Pierce, so be sure to check out his channel and if there's something you're dying for Diana to try out, join the fourth rank in Patreon. A link will be in the description and your suggestion will be added to the current list. For each month that you stay a rank full donator, you'll get the opportunity to make another suggestion that we will 100% complete. Anyway, let's see how Diana goes with the Texas Instruments TI. 99 4 Okay, here you are on the initial screen, but before you get started, I'd just like to say a thank you to all those supporting us on Patreon. Your donations keep this channel and all my other channels alive. Anyway, it's now time to move on and check out the system. A demonstration cartridge is currently in the machine. See if you can run it and watch the demonstration. Reminds me actually when I used to own a TRS-80 computer. That was my very first computer and I have a really lovely memory of my father taking me out to Dick Smith Electronics in Chatswood and purchasing a TRS-80 computer. And the funny thing was we were tossing up between the Commodore 64 and the TRS-80. We just didn't know which one to get and we ended up getting the TRS-80 and I ended up doing basic programming on it. And You can do basic on this as well. In fact, this was in competition with the TRS-80. So there was a TRS-80. The computer that we're emulating here is a Texas Instruments TI-994A. Okay. The Commodore 64 came out in 1982. So this came out before the Commodore 64, but before that there was a Commodore PET. How come I have no memory of um, Texas Instruments? Because when I was trying to decide which computer to get, it was a toss up between the Commodore 64 and the TRS-80. There was no mention of Texas Instruments. I have no memory of Texas Instruments. Maybe it was called a TI-994A. I don't even have a memory of a TR-944 well, maybe it was more. Whatever. Maybe it was more common in other countries. Anyway, before we move on to the task, can you now run the demonstration cartridge that is inserted into the computer? So what do you think you'd do here? I Dave, didn't know you could insert cartridges no, 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 into no. your computer. It's imaginary. Oh. It's so don't use a mouse, stop using mouse, mouse oh, off the screen. Mouse, m mice didn't exist back then. They did, but they weren't common. Okay, well it says ready, press any key to begin. Okay. There we go. So you want to run the demonstration cartridge. I actually want to run the basic. I used to do basic programming. That We're was my do basic. very first programming language mm. I ever learnt and Jakey, it was fun. Jakey has gotten you to do something in basic. But mm -hmm. before we do that, I just want to run the demonstration so you can see what this is like all about. Okay, so this is a request, a, d a demand from Jakey Pierce. I actually remember Jakey. He entered the send in your clips competition. I remember Jakey. Good yeah. on you. I keep going for the mouse. Yeah. It's an involuntary action just mouse. Just mouse, stop mouse. patting okay. the rodent. Take your hand off it. Well, you said demonstration, so I press 2. So this is actually a cartridge that you'd stick into the computer to see this. Right. Is that supposed to get you all excited or something? Hello. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so lame. <laughs> Just stop. Home computer. Oh my goodness. I may be the most useful home appliance your family could ever own. And the most embarrassing too. Because <laughs> I'm easy to use and there's so much I can help you do. I'd like to see that. I can help you save money. Really? How? And make better decisions about all personal finances. I wouldn't trust this to my personal finances. <laughs> That's for sure if it's playing corny music <laughs> like this. I can help children learn all sorts of things and make it fun. For example, grammar. <laughs> There's people at the bottom. <laughs> doodle -doodle -doodle. This is so... And boring. I can help you look after the family's health. Toad, stretch and hold briefly. Look at it going up and down, touching the toes. Really? As well as meal planning. I hope you don't stand on the computer. 
no, that's it's representing a even, set of scales. And can even play games. I don't play chess. Well, check. <laughs> <laughs> and I can play football with games based on pro football statistics. With little coloured dots on the screen. <laughs> and what's more, I'm programmable. That means, if you like, you can use simple basic language to tell me to do things you want me to do. Do you feel like this is a purchase you'd want to make if you were a kid in the 80s? And I can talk, actually speak to you in plain English with my special speech accessory. And does the special speech accessory come with this? I'd really like to tell you more. Computer, personal finances, preschool learning fun, physical fitness, lots of accessories, and much more. You should actually see what it looks like when you plug in a bunch of accessories to the TRS-80. TRS-80? I mean, to this. <laughs> oh, and they're made by the same people who make the calculator. Want to know more? Is there more to know? <laughs> if so, press the okay. space bar. I'm just curious. Glad you decided to stay. Here we go. Do a lot of people go at the, uh, at the previous point? <laughs> I can help I'm you do more with more your money by putting you in better control of your personal finances. I can help you with household budgets, mortgages and loans, investments and taxes, savings and checking accounts. Just give me a few facts and I'll give you lots of valuable, accurate information whenever you need it. whether to cringe or be amused by this honestly I mean I guess back in the 80s it would have been quite amazing but in this year it's not at all amazing it's quite cringy it just goes to show how technology changes mm. huh? now that sort of tune playing would not motivate me <laughs> to input all my finances and then trust it to plan all my investments and stuff. I love it. <laughs> Stupid movements of people. <laughs> okay, have you had enough of looking at this demonstration? We can create all sorts of images in 16 colours. Okay, you had enough? I've had enough. Okay, I am a sound investment too. My usefulness will grow in future with planned accessories such as that, thermal printer, computer speech, and much more, but this got discontinued. <laughs> oh, so <it> got discontinued. <laughs> But why do they call it Texas Instruments? Was it created in Texas? Texas Instruments is an American technology company that designs and manufactures semiconductors. Headquarters is in Texas. Dallas, Texas. Oh, okay. So that's why Texas Instruments. Okay. Ask to see a demonstration of one of my command modules right now. You can imagine this at a okay. shop. Could I see a demonstration no. of one of your command modules right now, please? No. Well, I could do that for you because I can pretend to be well, the Well, it's saying keeper. to ask. But I'm asking. It's not <laughs> No, it's providing meaning for ask, me. ask a person because it's not smart enough well, to Well, it should respond. say ask a person. <laughs> okay. I'm going to now stick in extended basic. So that's an actual cartridge, because a normal basic can't speak, so you need extended basic. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Two for extended basic. What would you even Ready. press one? Because extended basic cartridge isn't always plugged in. Your task that he's set you to do, mm -hmm. you make the computer speak using extended basic. basic. Well, extend because you can't do it with a normal basic. So you've got to make the computer speak. Say a word like hello or something. Okay, what's funny, I did program in basic and I loved programming in basic. And in fact, I was top of my computer class. In fact, the funny thing was, Back in 1989, when I was in year 11, they introduced computer studies. For the first time, they never had any computer-based subject. In your school? In my school, from <laughs> kindergarten right through. But in when I was in year 11 in 1989, they introduced computer studies. And I chose that subject. And it was from how well I went in that subject, I was top of the class, that I decided I wanted to be a computer programmer for my future career. But then when I went to uni, things changed. I started programming in Pascal, which was absolutely so difficult. It turned me off computers altogether. And then I switched over to the behavioral sciences and decided I wanted to be a school counselor, but I never did <laughs> because I was pregnant with you and then I had to be a mum. So anyway. So in other words, is... I ruined your life. No, you didn't <laughs> ruin my life. You just made it turn into a different direction. Direction, but I'm quite happy with my life where it is right now. <laughs> okay, so. anyway, after that long history lesson, it's now time to do some historic 
program. Because I was married in 1992, which was only three years after I was in year 11. I'd only just left school and okay. married. Okay. Anyway, um, now I'm trying to remember my basic Off programming. Off the top of your head, do you know any basic? Off the top of my head, I remember Can you do a Goto and stuff. Oh, okay, Goto, I'll go do, to. Yeah, go to, <laughs> but to. I called it Goto oh, okay. because that's how it was. Go to is G O, then separate, okay. then T O, whereas in this okay. it's. So let's pretend, one word. let's just start off simple. Can you make the computer say, hello, I'm a computer? Okay. Not actually speaking, it just text on the I screen. I remember you need to put line numbers too. Oh gosh, uh, my memory of this, I mean, I'm trying to remember back 30 years. 30? Just do it. Just like, try, oh, just let's calculate, what am I, 90? Actually, I am, I'm trying to remember back almost 30 years. Okay, we've been recording for a while, you still have yet to okay, actually but this put is, anything. This is, I'm reminiscing here, this is, okay. you know. Go on. My teenage years, my sp- well, High let's put your years. teenage years into action. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I'm going to start off line one. I don't remember. I, I just remember there used to be okay. line numbers. Generally, but it could be 10, you'd 20, start off with 10. 10. 10 stuff. Isn't that funny? I, I just said mm-hmm. to you, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be 10, but I am right. It's supposed to be 10. Yep. Okay, 10. Um, what are you going to write? I'm going to write. This is off the top of her head. She has not looked at any basic manual. No. Book. This is back from memory back then. Almost 30 years ago. Okay, 10. I can't remember. Remember to display. I'll give you a clue of what you'd type. Back really, really olden days when they didn't have monitors, they used to have to actually print out the input. Like they didn't display it on a monitor. Like you, if you wanted information from a computer, you'd have to print it out. No, oh, print, 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 10. And then I put the inverted commas. Hello. Oops. Might spell it correctly. Hello. But then I'm going to have it on a loop. And I'm going to put 20, go to 10. So that way it'll just go, mm. hello, 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 in an endless How do you stop loop. The loop. And then escape is to stop the loop. I remember that. Then I'm going to run it. R U N. Enter. Yeah, I did it! Yes! Hello, hello, hello. Yes, got it. Hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, okay. I should have typed hallelujah. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? This is back when I was, oh my goodness, so. Um, Almost 30 years ago, wow. Okay. Well, what are you going to do? Just... I think my computer studies teacher would have been very proud <laughs> looking back. Actually, he passed away. I went to his funeral, and that was only about 10 years ago. He's with us now watching. <laughs> now, come wow. on. Wow. He's probably turning over in his grave thinking, wow, this is pretty good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, escape stops it. Maybe it doesn't. The, the control alt delete thing wasn't a thing back then. No, don't do that because that'll do it on my computer. Escape. No. Okay. So what we'll do is we're okay. going to pretend that we're turning the Texas instruments on and off by the power. But I remember escape worked back then. When yeah, was... maybe it's a bit different, like a different key combination or something. There might be, I don't know, CV. You know, I used to, it was funny because I have memories now of when I was doing the basic programming, I used to make these fantastic fantastic programs whereby you could almost swear it was artificial intelligence. Basically, people would type in, it said, hello, type in your name, and then you type in your name, then it would say, hello, and then the person's name, and then depending on what they said, it would say different things. I remember doing that. Okay. And I used to, my friends used to think, oh, wow, that's artificial intelligence. Your computer is really alive. Mm. I remember that. Okay. What we're going to do, I'm going to give you access to something you didn't have access to back then. I know, the internet. You don't type in a statement, you just type in keywords, but okay. That's got all the keywords in the statement. Programming the TI, the singing computer. Okay. AtariMagazines.com. You're going to be looking at an old magazine. Okay. Is that an old magazine? Yeah, that's an old magazine from the day. That might tell First, you. First, to make you. Computer the, call the, Oh, that's. So this might work. So you're actually going to be looking at a August 1984. Oh. This is the text only version, though, page 115. If a computer can speak and play music, can it sing? This month I'll try to make the TI sing. First, to make a computer talk, you'll need the synthesizer. I was 11 (laughs) years old back then. Uh, To do your own programming with speech, you'll also need a command module. Right now, the modules are the speech editor, TI Extended Basic, and the terminal emulator. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Okay, so to create speech, you need the following statement. Open number one, speech. 
output. Really? My name is... Well, that's what it says here. I can actually see what it says. Read the last sentence. I mean, the last sentence of the second paragraph. I've had several letters from people wondering why certain phrases don't work. To make the computer say a phrase such as Texas Instrument, use the number sign ship 3 before the phrase. For example, call say... Oh, that's changing pitch. Well, it's still doing something sounds. Now, would you like that copied and pasted into your machine? I'm thinking of that. Okay, I can copy and paste. <laughs> you can't really copy and paste back in the day with a real thing, but because this is like, you know, the modern days and the abilities you get with emulation, we can do that. Okay, so you would like that copied and pasted. Paste. There you go, there's oh, all that code. Run. <laughs> oh. Error. So that magazine was wrong. <laughs> No, we might not be using it properly, okay? I don't think They I... should have complained about the <laughs> magazine back then. A bit okay. late now. Okay, let me let me take you somewhere else. So it was a dialect of basic for the Texas instrument. So and here I am! It says call say. I like this copying and pasting code. <laughs> back in the day, if you could copy and paste code, you'd be so happy, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that now. I'm just gonna do it. I O error, I remember that. Input output error. Mm. That's right. It's taking me back to my Computer studies class. Okay, there you go. You can. <laughs> can I just say something? <laughs> I didn't even type in run. I just pressed enter, yeah. and I was about to type in run, but then I heard this weird noise. Because what it was, it was a command. Oh you gosh. didn't. You didn't put it on a line. You didn't say 10. Oh, of course I didn't. You just well, typed you in know a command what I'm and it legit do? did that command. Oh, it won't There's no let mouse. me. There's no mouse. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what to do. Uh -huh. I'm going to do 10 and then copy again. Oh, that is so funny. No, just all you do, all you have to do is type in. You, and then do you copy. know the command? Call. What is the command? Call. Call. Say. say. Then you put whatever you want it to say in these brackets. Hello. Oh, I, I, I want it to say what okay. I want it to say. Now, I'm just warning you, Texas Instruments has a very limited vocabulary. Well, we're going to test it out. It's vocab is it's terrible. Fancy. I know what I'm going to do to make... Oh, where is the close break? But I'm going to... Spelling it. You can't say love. He's spelling featuring because he doesn't know how to say featuring. You Demon. Oh, <laughs> that syntax error. error. What? Let me let just die. That was too difficult for him. <laughs> so let's ten call. Say so let's just see him in a bit better in action. Hello, I am a big thing that is good. A big thing that I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> You're trying to use simple words. I'm trying to use as simple words as possible, and those were the most simplest words that pop into my head. Let's run this. Let's see how he speaks. <laughs> he knew every word but. Let's big. do. Let's get rid of big and put funny. Let's see if we can funny thing that is good. <laughs> Maybe he's spelling it because it's on a different line. No, no, no. <laughs> I am an F. <laughs> F you. Hello, I am an F. You. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Okay. Okay, no, so I really... Just, just before we continue, Jakey had something um that he kind of recommended we copy and paste, but he did warn that it wouldn't really be able to say because the vocab is bad. As you know, I don't really... I can't say the word vocab. No, no, before we do that, can I just say what? I really... It's my challenge to get this thing oh. to say all the words. So let's replace funny. Oh, you know what? Get rid of funny. I am a thing that is good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and let's see. Oh, there. Yeah, and it'll say it. Okay. Well, while you type that, let me tell you. Basically, this is what Jakey typed to, like, recommend that we kind of copy and paste into the machine. I tried it, but he even said it takes a long time to say and it can barely say any of the words. So this is what Jakey typed. Hello, Diana. As you may be able to tell, I have a very limited vocab. Uh, this is because I was one of the early innovators of modern programs, such as Microsoft Now and Dragon Naturally Speaking. One of the big draws for me was the fact that I was created by the same people who made the pocket calculator. I was rivaling
modelling computers such as the Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum and BBC Micro in the UK, as well as computers such as the TRS-80. I was involved in a price war with Commodore 64, however in 1984 I was discontinued. To the viewers of OS First Timer and Astral Phaser, I hope you've learned a little piece of history here about me. I feel so proud to have donated to OS First Timer and hope the money goes to a good cause. Thanks again, Jakey. Oh, there you go. isn't Jakey nice? Thank you, Jakey. <laughs> that is good too. Okay, anyway. Let's hope that everybody are things, things that, that are, are good. good. Okay, and do things that are good. Yes. <laughs> okay, anyway, before we finish up here, I think we might as well have a little look at some other cartridges. Okay. Things that, you know, that you can do on this. Oh, cartridges, that brings back so many memories. I remember saving up, I think it was like $30, and going down to the Dick Smith shop in Chatswood and mm. buying a new cartridge, a new game cartridge, okay. and coming home well, and just what? playing it to death. You have just gotten a new cartridge. It's called Amazing. Okay. So, let's try it out. I find it amazing that it calls that amazing. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do? Amazing. Let's do two players. No, 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 no. Just one player. I'm over here. I can't do it. So, go on. One player. Okay, one. And what do you want to do? Escape maze or cheese hunt? Escape maze. Simple maze or complex maze? No, simple. I don't feel like complex. Visible maze or invisible maze? How are you supposed to get through an invisible <laughs> maze? <laughs> or do a visible maze? I think I'll be visible. Um, mouse holes or obstacles? Mouse holes. You told me it didn't have a mouse. No. <laughs> He's there. Do you want a fast mouse or a slow I mouse? I want a fast mouse. Do you want no cats, one cats, or two cats? Have at least one cat. I don't want any cats. <laughs> Have at least to give you a challenge, otherwise oh. it'll be boring. Because you are the mouse. Cat speed, slow, slow. medium, dumb cat or yeah, smart dumb cat. dumb cat. <laughs> <laughs> Standard cat or pouncing cat. <laughs> I thought all cats were pouncing cats. <laughs> What's a standard cat? <laughs> Imagine going to the pet shop and saying hello. I like a like standard, standard cat. cat. And what do you mean by a standard cat? A non-pouncing non -pouncing cat. cat. <laughs> but they all pounce. Oh look, let's just say standard cat. <laughs> there you are. Okay. Uh, oh, no mouse. Oh, how do I do this? Use the mouse without the mouse. Oh. So you've got to try to escape. No, you keep your finger on it. No! Keep your finger on it. No, no, Don't no, keep no, tapping la, it. La, la. Keep your finger on it. You can... He's a dumb cat, so I shouldn't be scared. So a smart cat would obviously follow and pathfind through and Stop tapping, just keep your finger down now. There you go. That's better. Now I'm going to try and... The bottom of the maze, just so you see. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's right there. <laughs> oh, good. Hello, pussycat. You can't get me. Because you're a dumb cat. You're a dumb standard cat. That's what you are. <laughs> a slow, dumb standard cat. You're a slow, slow dumb, dumb standard cat. cat. How offensive. <laughs> oh, I swear, I'm going to go to the pet shop and say, I, I want, want a slow, slow dumb, dumb standard, standard cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> but why do you have to specify slow and dumb if it's also a standard cat? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, Maybe let's, there are smart, fast standard let's, cats. What we're going to do? Because standard is a non-pouncing cat. Remember, that's a definition of it. <laughs> anyway, let's try one more time. This time, you're going to do yeah, escape the maze, but you're going to do a complex, visible. I'm not going to be that bad oh. with um, obstacles, and no. you are going to have a fast mouse. But there's going to be two cats. <laughs> Oh. And the cats are going to be Don't, lightning no. speed, and they're both smart, and they're both pouncing cats, <laughs> and the pouncing frequency. <laughs> you know what I'd like? You go to the pet shop. I'd like a lightning smart cat that's a pouncing cat with high pouncing frequency. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh no, I'm scared now. This should be a, a terrified, terrified mum <laughs> video. Ready? There you oh, are. No. There they are. Played that cartridge now. Let's say you go to a shop now, um, and your your father says, "Diana, no more games. I want you to learn about some home finance." We just had to play Monopoly. <laughs> Me, Dad, and I used to play Monopoly all the okay. time. I loved Monopoly. 
Monopoly. He'd come home from work and I said, Dad, can I play Monopoly? Here we go. Copyright 1978. This easy three step use. One, select one of the four decision areas. Two, select the specific question you want answered. Three, you don't have time to read it. Do you trust it so far? Not really. Not if it doesn't <laughs> okay. give you time to read it. Press one for loans. Press two for residents. Two. Press three for cars. Press okay, four, for, four savings. for savings. I want to see that. For press one for future amount in account. Two for size of deposits to reach goal. Three for amount of time to reach goal. And four for amount needed for regular withdrawal. No, amount. Size of deposits to reach goal. Yeah. Okay. So, so present amount in account. Okay. Well, let's. What is say, your goal? What is your money goal? Let's say you're saving, and how much are you trying to save? And Ten what, million dollars. Okay. So your present amount in account <laughs> is five dollars. Back then, when I was yeah. a kid. Okay. You know? So that's and the you're trying to save ten Enter million as a kid. Amount to save? Well, ten. <laughs> uh, ten million. That's as far as you can go. There's no more characters. I think you can only do up to one million. Annual percent interest rate on your savings account. Well, it should know. If it's so smart, it should know no. what the current percentage is. It doesn't okay. have internet access. Let's let's just say 2%. Okay. Based on, like, today in Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty low now. Number of times per year savings account interest is compounded. Every month, so 12 times in the year. Because the, the Do you make interest regular is paid. deposits? Yes or no? Okay, let's say deposit. Okay, yes. Let's say I'm going to make a deposit. I remember Number my please. pocket money. I got. I started off with five dollars a week in pocket money, mm -hmm. and then I had to convince my father that I deserved ten dollars a week pocket money. I remember that, and I did eventually, but that was after years. So let's let's go to ten dollars. Okay. Number of regular deposits in this analysis. Well, it's per week, ten dollars. So that would be fifty-two in the year. You will reach your savings goal after 52 deposits, 51 deposits of 182,306 and a final deposit of that. See, all you've got to do is you've just got to do that. Do 51 deposits, 51 easy deposits of 182,306. No, but that's not what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to calculate how long it would take me to save $10 million with a $5 starting point and earning $10 a week. But you said 52 deposits, so it's 50, how many after 52 deposits? That's yeah, but it it's supposed to be smart. Oh, no. I'm thinking per year. So do you like this cartridge? Not really. I'll tell you what. Let's calculate how many weeks back when I was back in 1989. Now, to the present, how many weeks? Let's just say the 1st of January 1989. I'll see if this is calculator on it. <laughs> So, let's say... Oh, but we're supposed to be testing out this home finance thing. No, we've done the home finance thing. No, I thing. want to go back no, to the home we're, we're finance thing. Home finance. No. So, let's say, print... Oh, wait, 10. Print. Okay, so what are we printing? We're printing, so what do you want to know? I you want to know... You can type thing. Um, 10 times 52 times 20. Yeah, but then compounding interest. Oh, with, I so can't So that's do why that. we had to go back to no, that thing. No, I don't thing. think that... I, I've had no, enough no, of the no, finance no. app. I haven't had enough I've of I've had it. enough of it. I haven't. Well, I have. Well, let's go back. This is my testing <laughs> out. Mum tries out. So Mum's anyway, trying just to so try you know, out, but Philip is stopping her. Just so you know, this basic can do stuff like this, like print... Not zero. <laughs> print like 10... Uh, plus 5, well, plus 55, then run 65. Wow. So it can do that kind of thing. Basic calculus. Anyway, can we look at some other application no, now? No, I want to go back bored. to that finance. Please, I want to go back to the fine. I'm tr Mum tries out. I'm trying to try out, but you're not letting me. <laughs> go back. First of all, I need to know how many weeks from 1st of January 1989 to the present. <laughs> if in doubt, just Sorry, ask Siri. Diana, I can't do that. Oh, why not? Even Siri can't do that. <laughs> Even Siri can't so do that. So if Siri can't do that, how do you well, think this is going to do it? I can calculate it myself. 1989 <laughs> no. to the present, Let's which just say is 30 years minus 2, 28 years. So what is 52, 52 times, times 28 times 10? It's 
10,560. Is that all? Yeah, that's after those years of saving God. 10 a week. That's all you'd have. That's all? But what about with compounding interest? That Actually, I'm going to find out what deposits I would have to make in order to reach 10 million. Do you know what I would like? No, 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 I'd no, like no. to find out what I have to do to get you away from these home financial no. decision okay. areas. For savings or... You're going to bore the viewers. Well, they can just switch it off. Okay, oh. so <laughs> amount of time to reach goal. Three. After this, guys, there will be one more game. Present so amount in the account, five dollars. Amount of savings. Well, we want the ten million annual interest. Let's let's say. Well, look at it this way. I remember when your father and I got a loan for our place, and it was six percent back, back then, and then it went up to seven percent, etc. So let's just say a five percent interest. Remember when it was like nineteen percent interest rates back in the bank and it's in the nineties. Number of times per year. It's twelve times per year. It's compounded. Do you make regular deposits? Yes. And I make ten dollars amount of re oh wait 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 amount oh. of regular deposits ten dollars it's fifth dollars all it does number, number of, of re regular well that's what I did before but if you do that number of regular deposits per year it's fifty two but but then it'll get you to where you were before I know what it's going to do it will say you need all those <laughs> deposits oh, what seven thousand one hundred and fifty six deposits of ten dollars and a final deposit of six hundred and forty eight dollars. Wow. Oh, that's calculating with all the interest and stuff. That's exactly what you need to do. Wow. So to reach, you'd need to do 7,156 deposits of $10 and a final deposit of $648. That, that actually almost sounds achievable. In 7, 30 000, years. Um, yeah, but that's assuming... Okay, let, let count how many days no, are no, in 30 years. Let, how many weeks is that? What is 7,156 divided by 52. It's about 137.615. That's how many years? 137 years. Well, hopefully technology is good and, and advances in medicine so that we can live that long. No, but seriously, <laughs> I want to know... I don't want nah, to know anything anymore. I do. I, I do. want this application out. No, no. I'll stop. take out the cartridge myself. Shh. I just want to know how many days are in, in 28 years. So it's 28 I'm times sorry, 300. I'm sorry, Diana. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh, well, I can. <laughs> the answer is 10,220. Oh, my gosh. It's achievable. Everybody out there, if you start now putting $10 away every day, every day. $10. And if you can find an investment giving you 5%. Yes, that but too. But also remembering that that was based on weekly deposit in dollars. No, 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 no. It's saying you need seven thousand. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Because that's based on the compounding weekly. I mean, well, let's just say seven thousand deposits of ten thousand. Look, I mean, you know what you that's use. That's achievable. Oh, you use. And they had that back then in 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 1981. <laughs> 1980, whatever it was. Well, you know what? I want to say, let's know. Let's no, no, say, 10 million. Do my 10 million. No, let's say 10 million. Okay. Let's let's use a proper modern version of that. Bad. That's not 10 million. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One more zero. Okay. I want to save. Um, no, it says I want to spend it. Oh, I want to spend it. I don't want to spend How can... Well, I would love to spend it. Why would you want to spend it as soon as possible? Okay. Starting balance is, let's say, zero. Interest rate is two... To be realistic, you need to save zero per month to reach your goal, 10 million in zero years. Really? Wow! That's pretty cool! <laughs> that sounds fantastic! So I think we've got it a bit. I think, wow! Okay. You don't have to put anything in, and you've got, <laughs> so you've got 10, 10 million. million in zero years! <laughs> See, even the modern stuff, let's say the starting balance is $10 and you're saving um, $10 every week. It will take you 279 years at 2%. Yeah. Well, if you save $10 sad. a week. Okay, let's say $20 a week. 263. Okay. Let's say $100 a week. It's mainly the compound. Well, let's just that. say you can start saving now for your great, 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 great. <laughs> And they will so be, they will have $10 million one day because of your savings. <laughs> and you can see on that how much is actually interest. The light pink is interest. The it's amazing. Pink, the dark pink is it's your principal. Your principal. That so is just really, amazing. if you wanted to pay for somebody from the future, and this is a funny concept I just want to show you. If you wanted to pay for someone in the future, you can put in $100 now, 2% interest. Let's say time travel is invented in 575 years from now. Mm -hmm. You can pay someone $10. You put that in the bank now. 
and after 575 years, your $100 will be 10 million, which you can use to get someone to pay someone in the future. Actually, to come to back tell in the time truth. and get you. Oh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? There's an actual website that does that legitimately. Yeah. I promise now, and they give you a certificate but what's and, to and say, you're added I mean, to a database of people. What's to say that they won't just take the money and go because you're long dead? No, because they need your permission. They need your identity, your DNA, your everything about you. It's not like a random person could just go, Hello, there was somebody who died 500 years ago. They've got a bank account and I'd like to withdraw all their money. Can I do it, please? It's not going to happen. They need you, so they'll go back in time and take you to the future. Oh. Get it? But then you would have died. Yeah, I know, I mean, the money be can in the account. No, but there would be records that you're dead, and so therefore the bank would say, no, you're an imposter because you died. No, but time travel exists. It's not only available to exist, and the person just says, well, look, I went back in time, got them, here are well, you. Well, I guess you could share it with them and say, yeah, you have five, five million. million each. But think about it, in that many years in the future, it 10 be million worth might be but worth 10 time, cents. The, yeah, I know. You know? That's the thing. Anyway, one more. I really, I'm starting to wish we didn't open the finance thing because you're spending way too well, much time. Well, you're the one who decided to open it. What? Yeah, but you're the one who decided to persist with it. Anyway, examples of cartridges. What one do you want to put in? Alpine, amazing, Jack Black. Well, Boker, we've had amazing. Car Wars, football. No, no, armor, let me read. Mind challenges, Parsec. Tombstone City. Okay, try it. Tunnels of Doom sounds awful. Yeah, so I'm going to go there. I thought you can select mice. No, that that's not that's a part of the emulator. That simulates us grabbing picking up a cartridge with our hands and sticking oh. it into the machine. That's what you Oh, this reminds me of all those games I used to play back in the eighties okay. and nineties. Oh level my one gosh. novice. Level two master or level three insane. Your choice. No well novice. Day one, population zero, schooners ten. Schooners. It says so they've schooners. actually, you know what schooners are? No. That's what you drink beer in at a at a club. <laughs> so you could have a schooner of there's beer. There's one day zero people and ten schooners. They're all going to go off those schooners by the time. No one's there to drink them. This is the uh, well, let's watch schooners go off simulator. <laughs> okay, Tombstone City, go. Okay. Oh, you're that little blue thing, and that little pink thing ran away, and those things lit up. What am I supposed to? Do? Oh, and there's a green thing. Oh, is that chasing me? It's coming towards you. And there's another one. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh you start in the middle. What? You started back in the middle again. I don't know oh. what you're I think you're supposed to get the pink things. Really? Yeah, go try those, and get the pink how things. How can I get the pink things with the green things there? Look! Ah, they just eat me! As soon as you go out of that area, they eat you. Okay, get a pink And this thing. is supposed to be novice? Quick, quick, quick. Yep. Ah! Did I get it? Oh, no! Maybe, maybe... I don't know what you're supposed look to get. Look at the silly things! Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to get... Oh! Cactus. I'll make them go over there. I know what I'll... Do. Oh, I know... They can't come in here. Oh, where's that lit up cactus? Oh, oh I think there, I'm that's supposed to get the lit up. Up, 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 up. It's up there. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, this is a I can't... One to get. get it! Oh, you don't get it. What? Well, I don't know the goal of this game. This is why you need those manual well, No things. wonder there's nobody there. <laughs> Nobody understands it. That's right. <laughs> okay. Population zero. <laughs> Comprehension zero. Did it, does it have instructions? Well, it would come in real life. Let's tr try another one. TI invaders. Merely aggressive or downright nasty? Your choice. No, merely aggressive. It's not a good choice. I'd rather... Where's the friendly? There you go. I want friendly. Oh, well, what am I supposed to do? <gasps> I'm supposed to av avoid... And shoot them. Oh, what do I shoot them with? Space How bar, maybe? I'm Wait. just guessing. No, no up, it doesn't up, work. The up key. No, it doesn't work. I don't know what. No, it doesn't is. work. It doesn't work. Oh, there you go. Oh, what, 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 what is it? VV. 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 That's such a common space of that is strategy. Shoot through your own shield and then you. Oh got... no, I don't want to shoot. Oh, where did you I? You died. <laughs> Why did I die? Because you got shot. Ah. They're getting pretty close now. I'm warning you. Those ones at the bottom. Remember when they touch the bottom of the oh. screen? You get, you've got one life left. This game lacks sound. Oh. So you lost. Anyway, that was Dinah trying out the Texas Instruments TI 994A um, and doing that speech thing Jakey wanted. Yeah, yeah. But the <laughs> yeah, only yeah. thing I would change <laughs> with this game is that instead of merely aggressive and downright nasty, I'd have friendly. In there is a choice. So space invaders that are friendly, friendly meaning they let you yes, win. Yes, yes. 
You don't like they literally don't try and shoot you and they don't come towards they you. They come and help you. They stand there so you can shoot them. But They're what friendly. game is that? No, that's not friendly, that's suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> they stand there so you can shoot them. <laughs> or maybe they just join you. <laughs> if, if that's what you call friendly, I'd be very scared. I mean, what do you do? If someone comes to the door and they say, Hello, I'm friendly, shoot me. Like, I don't think that would be very good. Okay. Okay, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Timer. We will see you next time. So next time, Mighty Eagle 73 has suggested you try out Windows RG and a few other um, operating systems of a similar type to that. Feels funny. I actually know Mighty Eagle 73 now. <laughs> <laughs> Had him in my car. <laughs> so um, you can actually... Is you were kidnapped. <laughs> That doesn't actually sound good. When you did that walking thing, you met up with him. Let's and explore. then because I was I'll in put the a link. area, I'll put I a then link in the description gave you both up. a lift. You'll see that in the description of this video, you can check that out. See you next time on the next episode of OS and First Timer. Thanks, Jakey, for taking me on a trip down memory lane. Bye.